Cookie Swirl? See? <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to another video with me, Cookie. I have a giant Dollar Tree haul video today. You guys, I went crazy. They had so much good stuff, so let's just dig right on in. Do you guys remember last year when they came out with those little ice cream cone, like a little mini garden sets? Well, this year they came out with something very similar, but different. This year's theme is the candy carnival. Ooh, look at how cute this is. These were in the garden section, but you guys, honestly, this is like tabletop decor for me. Got the candy carnival sign. The Ferris wheel is actually cupcakes. How cute is this? This one's a little cotton candy stand. This one's a little cake shop cupcake. A donut shop with the most delicious chocolate frosted donut on the top. A little ice cream cart where it actually looks like it's like waffle cone down at the bottom. You can attach a little donut on donut wheels. Can you imagine if it was like rolling around on those like little donut wheels? That's so cute. And these are all 3D, like completely like painted in the back. It's not like they're like flat 2D pieces. Then I also picked up the little lollipop little fence post and they had this little candy swirl, kind of like lollipop little pathway. And they even had this little frosting bridge. Oh, that looks like it's just dripping with icing. I got a second little cake shop one because I like to personally just turn one around so it looks like a completely separate different piece. And then I even found the matching little accessory pieces that go with it. You can add in cupcakes or this unicorn who's enjoying these stacks of macaroons. So here are all the little sweet pieces. Okay, you want to cry, right? Because this is just so cute. I love it. Let's get into some of the other items I found. Oh, this whole bag is stuffed. All right, I found two of the coolest looking little body sponges for the shower. One is a giant cupcake and the other one is a rainbow. Look at this. Yes, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. This is an amazing soap dispenser that is shaped like a unicorn. And the soap on the inside is actually magical and glittery and sparkly. And of course, once the soap actually runs out, you just reuse the container over and over and over. And you just have the most magical unicorn soap dispenser. All right, let's get into some other Valentine's Day stuff that they had. They didn't have too much new Valentine's Day stuff, you know, because 2020 was really crazy. So they had a lot of the same stuff that they had last year, but I did find a few new items. So this is what I'm adding into my Valentine's Day collection. You can put a cupcake on any pencil you own. There's 18 cupcakes in either pink or red Valentine's Day colors. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I take that back. They're not cupcakes, they're ice cream cones. If you're looking for cute stickers, Dollar Tree definitely has it. Look at how cute these little Valentine's ones are. There's a delicious strawberry cherry cake, a little smiley lollipop, a twisted pretzel, chocolate dipped strawberry. So many cute stickers. Okay, this may look like just a regular plushie, but look at what the tag says. The little bear is chocolate scented. Oh, and it so is. Oh, you can actually smell it right here. Like the little scented satchel is like right here on its head. Oh, it smells so tasty. So they had other little chocolate scented bears. They had a white chocolate one, a milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and strawberry, but I went with the little dark chocolate colored bear. I thought this one was really cute. I'm gonna add that to my plushie collection. I'm also adding these into my plushie collection. They just looked really cute, like these two like little double-sided critters. They're calling them little fuzzy friends. So let's release these two. Oh, they're actually attached, but you can go ahead and separate their little hands, and they're just two really cute. I mean, is that like a little raccoon? Is it a wolf? What is it? It's adorable. That's what it is. And it just simply says, you, me. So just cute like little plushy animals. I got these Valentine's Day socks. It looks like this is a dinosaur holding a heart. Dinosaur is very pink and fuzzy and it says love is fierce. And I know this is not Valentine's, but they did have their St. Patrick's Day stuff out too. A lot of the same items. There really wasn't anything new, but I found these little cute little animal socks. Looks like maybe like a little bear or a koala wearing a little green hat. I love their socks. Their socks are so cute. Ooh, have you ever wanted to take a bath in an icy? No, right? Because that would be like way too cold, but you can basically live out the experience of that with this icy bath bomb. So of course you cannot drink it. This is not anything to drink. This is just a regular bath bomb. That's supposed to like fizz the water and turn it grapey. They have the most amazing alphabet stickers. These ones are like sprinkled just like a pink donut. So you can spell out anything you want, want to label something, just go crazy. Why not? It's just a dollar and it's cute. All right, what about the biggest eraser you can ever find in your life? This is an ice cream eraser. Oh, it's so ice creamy and cute and it's even smiling. It has a smiley face. This just makes me so happy. And oh, it's like a puzzle eraser. It's like a jumbo, okay, like two piece puzzle eraser. But if you had a bunch of different ones, you could change out the cone flavors, cute. 
All right, I got these little collapsible containers. Not only are these perfect for storing anything you want in them, but I actually store my fashionistas in these. Here it is all put together and folded up. These are really, really great just for putting anything in. But as you can see, this is how I have my fashionistas stored in them. So you just pull them out and you can see all of my dolls are on the inside there. It just makes it super easy to keep them organized. So I was happy to find those at the Dollar Tree. I normally find them at Target. So this will be perfect because I have another Barbie haul coming, so I will definitely be putting my new fashionistas in this. Get me already ready to go. All right, now I've got a bunch of items from the beauty section. Ooh, a delicious Skittles lip balm. I got this nail polish. Now, they had a bunch of nail polishes that said glows in UV light, but I don't have UV light going all the time. I wanted something that actually like glowed in the dark, like once it charged. So I did find this LA Colors glow in the dark nail polish in this cool like pumpkin orangey color. So I'm pretty excited to use this. And then I also found a look at how amazing these are. Oh, this is such a find. This is such a find. These are glitter. Glitter sticks. I know they look just like glittery lipsticks, but actually these are just for face and body, just like the, what this girl has kind of showing right here. You can bedazzle yourself completely, especially since we're all wearing our masks and we only have our eyes showing. I like to put on a little bit of some glitter, you know, why not? So I got all the different colors that they had. So I got yellow, silver, red, blue, and teal. It's kind of like a tealy green. So here they are. Let's give them a swatch. Ooh, they're so, so sparkly. Come completely covered in sparkle. All right, the blue one is called electric. Oh, they're completely transparent. It just puts a little bit of glitter on you. Oh, I thought they would like actually kind of show up kind of blue, like have like a blue base. All right, the teal green is called sparkles. Okay, now it doesn't look so teal. It actually just looks green. Yellow is called crown, just like a golden crown. Mm-hmm, beautiful gold. Oh, the silver is so beautiful. It looks like it kind of has like a hologram type of rainbow glitter in it. And this one is called Stargazer. Oh yes, that one is my favorite. And this gorgeous cherry red is called Majestic. Very easy, simple. They kind of feel like just like a lip balm, but just leave like a little glitter trace behind. Ooh, they also had so many surprise blind bags, guys. I have a whole bag just filled of like blind bags. So let's go through this very quickly. Okay, this isn't a blind bag, but I. I thought these would be really gorgeous on my fashionistas because they actually look like they were really good quality for these two doll clothing. So this one is like a little rainbow iridescent dress. And this one is actually like kind of like a short sleeve turtleneck with these purple pants. Here the outfits are on my official fashionista Barbie dolls. The glasses were not part of the Dollar Tree clothing set, but she looks pretty good in this outfit. Something to note though, she is one of the petite fashionistas. And as you can see, the pants did not really fit fit her all that great. They are a little bit open there and she is the petite size. So maybe the pants would fit like a skipper size a little bit better, but the shirt fits her really, really nicely. And then this dress just looks absolutely gorgeous. I did put it on one of the curvy fashionistas. I think it, she just kind of filled out the dress just a little bit better, but oh, I just, I love that little color shift with the dress. She looks really great in it. They do have some official Barbie items at the Dollar Tree. I found these really cute little figures. One is a princess and the other one is a mermaid. Made. They had the sweetest matchbox cars. Mmm, anybody love Junior Mints? Cause this one is totally inspired by that minty candy. Yummy, delicious Dots. So we've got the Dots Volkswagen Beetle, but they are in the tropical flavor. And then this one's probably my favorite. This one is this big giant Hootsie Roll SUV. It looks so chocolatey. Yes, oh yes, you are seeing things correctly. They actually had Playmobil blind bags there. You guys know I love Playmobil and what? For a dollar, yes. So let's see which figures I find in here. Who is this one? Oh, that looks like the pirate. And it, oh, it's the rock star. There he is with his guitar. I got the warrior, the navigator. Oh, yes, the gnome. Uh-oh, this one has two torso pieces. The steampunk kind of guy and the tool guy. So I got all different ones, no doubles. I thought these were just too funny. These are like a little zombie apocalypse, kind of like Lego knockoffs. So I wanna check these out in detail. 
Each come wrapped in an individual baggie. So with each one of these, you get one fighter and two zombies with each one of these. You guys, these are so cool. I really, really like these. These might be one of my favorite finds from the Dollar Tree just because of the detail. And I just think that's so unique to have like little zombie, kind of like little Lego guys. So here's one of the zombies. Ooh, she doesn't look happy. Here's this spider. Oh no, construction worker zombie. This one's like the grave digger. And here's the fighter. Oh, wow. He's definitely been putting in the battle. His shirt is all torn. Oh, is this police officer? Nope, it's just an officer zombie. Yep, looks like the doctor got infected too. And here's the girl fighter. So these are definitely some of my favorites. And then these sets actually look like they go with it, but these are even cooler because each one of the zombies comes in this like oozing slime sludge. So you can actually put together the zombie. Oh, look at that. You can see it like floating around with like its little pieces in there. So the one that's floating around in here looks like a duplicate of this one and in the black slime, it should be a duplicate of this one. But I just thought that is so cool that they actually put them in like a zombie ooze. And then you guys look at these, look at these. Okay, this is so funny. So these ones are actually gnomes and they're actually called the arcade gnomies. Look at that snail. It's like, <laughs> I love the snail. He's got like a rim instead of a snail shell. So these just look really fun. Oh, yes! Yes, got the snail, the snail with the rim. Yes, this is so funny with his gold chain. All right, let's check out the checklist. We, oh, okay, his name is, instead of snail, it's Snizzle. And there's like all this information about each one of them. Oh, this is so fun. Yes! Oh, another snail. Oh, what is that? There's a silver snail? Oh yeah, and you can even get the gold one. Okay, that one's Snelly. Oh, gold one. Huh, he's known as the gnome father. Oh, oh, who's this taking their bug out for a stroll? Nokira. These are so funny. Oh, oh, and another one of her. All right, that's what I got from the Nomis. Definitely by far, the snail is my favorite. I also found these double flower pots. I have been having the hardest time finding flower pots. I guess everybody is like in the gardening mood right now. My Walmart has been out of them. So I was so relieved to find these at Dollar Tree. So hopefully they hold up so I can now plant a whole bunch of some delicious things in these and you can paint them. All right, you guys, so that's it. What do you guys think about this Dollar Tree haul? I know how to find some pretty fun stuff, right? Well, you don't want to miss out on any more Dollar Tree hauls because I have a very special Dollar Tree haul coming very soon. Oh, it's a little sneak peek. Do you see this? It's a bunch of candy. I have another weird Dollar Tree candy haul coming up. So subscribe, have the best day, be magical. Bye.